we made it. We we got parked and semi-level in our first real boondocking spot out in the National Forest. But it's nice. It's quiet. I don't have to worry about our kids being loud because there's no neighbors. <laughs> we'll see if we sleep well. Awesome little place you're making. Yeah, but your cabin to take the place of our other one. We finished our first night boondocking out in dispersed camping in a national forest land. And it went pretty well. It was peaceful and quiet. Super dark outside. Don't need blackout curtains. That was nice. Now we just got to get out of our parking spot. That seems easier. <laughs> and head up closer to the Grand Canyon. Well, we made it to our boondocking spot, our second boondocking spot, and uh, it took a little while to get in because it was a little bit tighter than uh, would be nice, but we got in, and um, uh, I just saw deer and elk at our boondocking spot, and we decided to come up into the Grand Canyon. Sometimes they have little geographic maps with the boards where you can see the shape of everything. Here at the Grand Canyon where everything is bigger, they've got a big map. So the kids really wanted to hike down into the canyon. So we're not gonna hike all the way to the bottom of the canyon because that's a mile uh, descent. We hiked down the trail to the second tunnel um, and then some of the switchbacks, but I think we're gonna stop here because it's another three quarters of a mile down to the rest area, which that means a mile and a half back and up. It and it looks really steep. hard going up. It's already a 500 foot elevation change. Yeah. But it's nice, well, nice breeze right here, beautiful view. Maybe we'll eat a snack. Lots of swallows. So far. Fun. Fun. What do you think about the Grand Canyon? Cool. It's cold? <laughs> no. Cool. Do you like it? Yeah. Pretty neat looking, huh? Yeah. So tell me what you thought about the Grand Canyon. Hmm, it was fun. What it was fun about it? The, uh, <laughs> it looked cool. It was cool. What did you do? Um, walked down some of it. Some. And we also <coughs> ride it on the... I don't remember. The shuttle? The shuttle bus. The shuttle, yeah. And it was so fun. Yeah. You guys had just as much fun riding on the shuttle as you did hiking down to the canyon, huh? I like the canyon better. Yeah. And I like, on I like the way the shuttle, back here, because we went to a um, place where we hiked. No, we went back, and I got the window seat. Oh. Me too. It was the best place. I got the, the same seat, seat I did. <laughs> <laughs> what else did you do? 
We, we saw we saw um two elk. Okay, don't. Tell. And we we saw two elk. And we ate sandwiches. <laughs> And they elk sandwiches. No. <laughs> no. We just saw two elk on the, um... I forgot it again. <laughs> on the bus? Shuttle. The shuttle bus. Shuttle, shuttle. <laughs> we tossed two elk. But they weren't on the shuttle bus. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was an interesting ride. <laughs> we were, but they were outside. Oh. Yeah. Two nights is definitely not enough at the Grand Canyon. You and definitely want... It. You want more time than two nights. You could spend easily spend a week here exploring. Oh, yeah. Lots of stuff to see that we didn't get to see. But we'll be back someday, I'm sure. I would I'm love scared. to do a meal trip sometime. Yeah, yes. I want to do that. It sounds yeah. so fun. Cool. I want to do it. We oh, all want to ride the mules down to the bottom of the canyon, mm -hmm. camp a night, and then ride them back up. Because it's a mile from the top of the canyon to the bottom. I wouldn't want to hike it. We did run into one guy who would hike down one trail, hiked along the canyon, and was hiking back up 18 miles, he said. Yeah. An old guy, too. Yeah. He's really impressed. We could add all our ages together, and he'd still probably all learn us. No, mm. about that. Not quite. Anyway, we are leaving the Grand Canyon area. We might see it a little bit as we drive away, and we're headed up to the Bryce Canyon in Zion. In Utah! area and we'll be going into Utah for the first time. Yay! Yay! So as we were leaving the Grand Canyon area, we decided to stop at the Desert View Visitor Center with the Watchtower and it's actually fabulous. The watchtower you can climb up to, um, just beautiful views. You can see the Colorado River a lot better over on this side. So definitely if you're coming to the Grand Canyon, not only the main Mather Visitor Center, but come over to the Desert View one, and there's a lot easier parking too. There's ice cream. There is ice cream. <laughs> and coffee. And coffee. And I resisted getting ice cream. And fudge. Sad, sad day. Sad day. Anyway, now we're off to continue driving.